here's Mary's computer, and we'll just search the settings for recovery once again. And this time we'll pick create a recovery drive. Click yes to elevate our privileges. We can see her system image backup is still going on back there. I'll click next. Now we select the USB flash drive, it's uh, media here. And then click next. Um, you could see on the previous dialogue that it was showing you that it needs 256 megabytes of free space. That's not much nowadays when even the cheapest USB flash drives have eight gigs. So just about any flash drive will work. And I'll click create to actually create it. And that's all it took. You could see it formatted it, renamed it, and now we get a chance to look at all the different files. So these are the same files that you would see on the uh, boot drive, which is hidden from within Windows Explorer. Um, but you can see it's got BCD, which is the uh, boot manager, and all the different files that Windows setup needs to get running. Basically, it's just enough files to restore a system image. And you can see that this was running in the background. This was uh, creating Mary's system image. When it was done, it prompted us to automatically create a system repair disk. This would result in the exact same process. We just manually initiated it. So now let's take a quick peek at the Windows image backup. Uh, you can see it needs to elevate my privileges because it protects the backup files from being accessed by anybody, even your own user account. That's because the backup files, well, they have every bit of data in all your files, but without all the different file security. So to be safe, it just protects everything. And every time you open up a folder, it's going to prompt you to elevate your privileges, which is why every folder I open, I have to click continue with the little user account control icon there. And we can see as we dig into the different folders, this is Mary's system image backup. Now what you'll see here are three different VHDX files. These are virtual hard drive files, and that's how system image works. These are the entire hard drive laid out bit by bit. It's not backing up individual files. It copies the entire hard drive to a virtual hard disk file. It makes it really easy to restore the entire computer, which we'll do in the next scenario.